So today I'm going to be answering vector-based questions. So our first question is asking for the magnitude of OB. So we know that the formula to find magnitude equals to the square root of x squared plus y squared. Since OB is not given in the information above, we can find OB using these two vectors. So we can break AB into OB minus OA. Since we're finding OB, we're going to shift OA to the other side. So that would be AB plus OA giving us a negative 7 plus with 4 and 3. So 8 plus 4 equals to 12 and negative 3 plus, sorry, negative 7 plus 3 gives us negative 4. So now that we found the uh, vector for OB, now we can find its magnitude. So it will be 12 square plus with negative 4 square and the square root of all of that. Put those values into your calculator giving you an answer of Twelve point six. So the magnitude for OB is twelve point six. So now we can break BC into two parts. We can break it into BA plus with AB. Sorry, AC. So, we have all the information we need from these two vectors. So, BC would be the negative of AB, so we could have BA. So, it's negative 8 and minus 7 plus with AC, which is a negative 3 and 6. So negative 8 minus 3 gives us minus 11 and 7 plus 6 gives us 13. So the vector for B to C is negative 11 and 13. So now let's move on to the next question. As you can see, the next question has given us a diagram. It's a parallelogram with diagonals P, R, and S, Q intersecting at X. So P, Q is A, and P, S is B. Find Q, X in terms of A and B. Okay, so... We're trying to find Qx. Let me just mark that on the diagram. Here we go. So let's find Qs first. So Qs would equal to uh QP plus PS plus 
plus P S. Okay, so our Q P is negative A because it's moving in the opposite direction. So it's negative A and P S is positive B. And as you can see, QX is half of QS, or in other words, X is the midpoint of QS. So X is the midpoint of QS. So now what we can say is QX equals to half of QS. So that will be 1 over 2 times with B minus A. So our answer is 1 over 2 B minus A.